Meg is officially playing arenas now. Megan Thee Stallion has had one success after another in 2024. She scored a number one single with her diss, Hiss. She won her court case against Tori Lanez, and she's been killing it on tour. In fact, the rapper recently set the record for highest attended show at Madison Square Garden by a female rapper. Megan Thee Stallion is A-list, and she took time out from her busy schedule to show love to her fans on Instagram. She also found time to address some criticisms that have been leveled at her in recent weeks, particularly those made by Charlemagne the God. Megan posted a list of her favorite things that happened on tour. They ranged from getting flowers to performing alongside her backup dancers. The point that immediately jumped out, though, was a not-so-veiled dig at Charlemagne. I'm a pop my asterisk T for a second lol, she wrote. But people questioned if I was an arena artist and I mean shrug emoji. She doesn't mention Charlemagne by name, but he's clearly the target, given the doubt he cast on Meghan's stardom back in May. He flat out claimed that she wasn't an arena artist, and his co-hosts agreed. I mean, if she's doing arenas, she shouldn't be doing arenas, he stated. She's not an arena artist. Salute to Megan the Stallion, but she's not an arena artist, maybe a theater artist. But not yet. Megan the Stallion proved that she's an arena artist, the comment generated a wave of backlash, though with many claiming that Charlemagne was not giving the rapper her due. To Charlemagne's credit, he retracted his statement. A day after his not an arena artist comment was made, he apologized to Megan and her fans. Clearly we got our answers, he stated. She sold out 13 arena stops and over 240k tickets across North America and Europe. Yes, yeah, so if you're selling out arenas, you're an arena artist. Charlemagne's Breakfast Club co-host, Jess, then urged fans to keep supporting Megan the Stallion Megan is used to the doubt. The rapper told Lafacil that she struggled mightily with the criticism she received after the Tory Lanez case. In particular, I felt so awful every day, she stated. It was such a hard place to get out of. I don't even want to care who hates me, really. What I should be focusing on is the love that I do receive. That's what I'm trying to get better about now. Megan's latest Instagram post is clearly an example of new focus. She may have thrown shade at Charlemagne, but she made sure to bring it back to her fans. I have more people to thank and more moments to make, she concluded. But I love everyone who has been making this tour amazing so far. Thank you.